Good morning, everyone. My name is PJ. I'm a fitness instru instructor for the city of Vaughan. Today, we're going to do a Pilates class, about 45 minutes. We're going to try to focus on all parts of our core, which means all the way down from below your breastbone to the top of your knees. So that's your core. And we're going to try to focus on all of those muscle groups. Now, today, we're going to use a band. So there's a couple of types of bands that you can use. There's uh, the rubbery ones, they're the booty bands. If you've taken the package from uh, the gym, they will be included in there. Um, if you or have ordered it like I have, I, I use a fabric one. It kind of doesn't roll and scrunch. So I'm gonna be using my own um, that I have brought from home. So that's what I'm gonna use. If you don't have a booty band, if you don't have a band, it's perfectly fine too. If you have one of those uh, resistance bands, you can also tie them up and make a circle with it and use those as well. So let's begin with our Pilates breath. So I want you to stand nice and tall, shoulders down and back. Draw your belly button into your spine. Take a nice inhale through the nose and let it out through the mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through the mouth. So you want to take the same amount of time to inhale and exhale. So let's do it again. In through your nose and let it out through the mouth. Excellent. So we're going to slowly start shifting your weight, working with the breath. So I want you to shift your weight forward on the inhale and exhale, bring it back to the center. Same thing going backwards and forward. So just keep rocking your weight forward and backwards. Try not to lift your toes up and your heels up. We're just gonna shift forward and back. Working a little bit with that core on the balance. Good, couple more times, forward and back. I'm trying not to lift my toes or heels up, but sometimes they come up, we're human, it's okay. And we're gonna shift side to side. So you're gonna go from one leg, so you're from your left to your right. Don't lift your feet off the floor, left and right. Good, working with that breath in through your nose and out through the mouth. Which way you go, just as long as you're breathing, and that's why we focus all the time on pointing out the breath. In through your nose and out through the mouth. Good, now if you can, you're gonna circle it out. So you're gonna go forward to one side, take it back, and over to the other side. Let's do two more circles in that direction. Good, and one more. So you're getting from your toes, to the edges of your feet, to your heels, and then we're gonna change direction. So we're gonna go backwards, to one side, forward, side, backwards, side, forward, side. One more time, backwards. I'm not trying to rotate my hips just shifting that weight. Come back to the center and hold it here. Good, shake your legs out if you need that. And we're gonna slowly start lifting one knee up, giving it a little tug, and then switch your legs. Good, so you're warming up your lower part of your body, your legs, your glutes, quads and hams. Pull it up. Now as you're doing this, see if you can focus here on pointing your toe down towards the floor. And then lift up. Good, again, point your toe down and switch. Good, now on the next one, see if you can hold. Now this might be a little challenging. If it's too challenging, find a wall and you can lean on that wall or find a chair and hold on to it. Now point your toe down to the floor and then flex your foot. Good, point your toe, flex your foot. Give me one more point, flex and hold and then place it down. Let's switch legs, same thing. Find your balance, lift that knee up. Some days are better than others, and one side is always better than the other. Point and flex, point and flex, point, flex, hold, and place it down. Excellent work, good. We're gonna take your feet a little bit wider. So as wide as you can go on your mat, and we're gonna go shift for your weight forward, inhaling, once you come halfway, 
exhale try to go as low as you possibly can now if you're not warmed up then you might not be able to go all the way down which is perfectly fine good inhale come back halfway and exhale lift all the way back up let's do it one more time inhale and exhale reach relax the head and the neck and the shoulders and then inhale come back halfway and exhale all the way good let's do that one last time this time we're going to stay inhale exhale stay down let's walk your hands towards your left foot you're going to bend your left knee grab that ankle with both hands good holding it here now slowly walk your hands up place them on top of your knee take an inhale here and as you exhale just lift the chest up looking forward inhale take it back down I'm gonna do that one more time walk your hands back down to your ankle and as you walk it back up inhale and then exhale press into that top thigh lift your chest up and look forward good inhale take it back down and we're gonna walk back to the center straightening out both legs good let's slowly walk to the outside towards your right foot and we're gonna bend that right knee grab both your hands on the ankle holding it here you're gonna lower the chest down to on top of your thigh and as you inhale you're gonna walk your hands up towards the top of your knee take an exhale and lift that chest up so feeling that stretch all through the back inhale bring it back down and lower your hands towards your ankle again good inhale let's do that again exhale press into that thigh and lift your chest up try to keep your butt where it is inhale lower down and exhale back to the center good holding it here slowly roll yourself up now this time you're gonna round that spine and come up very very slowly good inhale bring your feet halfway in I want you to point your toes up to the ceiling bend your knees and we're gonna take your hands your elbows on top of your thighs you're gonna give me a couple of cat cows so in inhale scoop your belly in and round your spine relaxing the neck and the head and as you exhale you're gonna drop the belly down arch your back and look up to the front good let's do that again inhale round that spine and exhale lower the belly down tailbone out look to the front last time you're gonna round your spine and roll yourself all the way up now let's walk your feet to the center hip distance apart roll the shoulders back for four and three and two give me one more good roll it forward good one more excellent shake it all out now we're gonna start by start our workout I should say by just staying standing so if you want to take your band and we're gonna place it around um, somewhere around your mid calf so uh, when you're here make sure you're not keeping it too close together or you're gonna have no resistance on that on that band so you want to have some resistance and we're gonna give me some squats right here so we're gonna inhale exhale give me a squat so drop your butt down chest stays forward and inhale lift up so I'm gonna give you a side view so you're gonna exhale lower your butt down try not to push your knees forward too much inhale come back up so I'm gonna give you a front view again because it's easier if I'm looking at you and lower down our hands can stay wherever you want to keep it on your hips I just like it when I my hands are just in front of my chest you can do wherever you feel comfortable good four more good inhale and exhale lower down inhale lift back up exhale lower down again so if you want to go slower than what I'm working at that's perfectly fine too so instead of eight squats you might get only five perfectly fine good give me one more after this working with that breath good now we're gonna hold it at the top and I want you to lift that left leg straight up good eight and seven 
and six and five and four and three and two and one good now we're gonna combine the two exercises so still staying with that left leg I want you to give me a squat come up lift that left leg up do it again squat come up lift up that left leg do it again squat left leg again squat left leg and squat and left leg good four more squat and left leg good inhale exhale lift up and squeeze you want to feel it right through the outer thigh good last one excellent good shake it out if you need to and we're going to lift up eight counts on the right leg now so we're going eight seven six exhale five four three two last one as you can see I'm not doing one of these so I'm not leaning want to stay nice and tall if you can I want to do the combination on that right leg so we're gonna give me a squat come up give me that lift again squat give me that lift again squat and lift and again squat and lift good Woo. I'm starting to feel my legs already I hope you are too excellent give me three more good two more last one so I'm gonna feel you're gonna start feeling it right through the outer thighs all the way from your hip closer towards the top part now I want you to slide the band above your knees now I never recommend keeping it on your joint never keep it on your joint so it's always above or below the joint now we're gonna turn around I'm only gonna do this one time I know this is challenging not everyone loves to do lunges but if you want to work on your backside of your legs all of these leg muscles we're gonna try to do our lunges so I want you to step forward so we start with your left leg step forward and give me that lunge so bend your front knee bend your back knee step back alternating so we're gonna go with your right leg now bend both knees good and bend both knees trying not to focus too much on pushing that front knee forward so keeping it just over the ankle if you can now if you're doing this workout try see if you can look in the mirror if you have access to a mirror and if you don't you just take a pause and look if you can't see your toes then you know that maybe you've gone you've popped your knee far too far out good you want to give me four and three good and two give me one last one good and shake it out so we're going to continue with legs but we're going to take it down on the floor so take your time and have a seat good once you're seated we're going to start working and i'm going to say keep the band keep the band where it is might not use that right now but we will come to it so i want you to take an inhale grab the back of your legs lift your chest up drop your shoulders down and as you exhale i want you to scoop your belly in tuck your tailbone and lower that back a little bit so we're not going too far it's just so you can activate the top part of your abs as you inhale lift your chest up release that tailbone and as you exhale round that spine and I'm keeping on holding on to the back of my legs if at any point you want to do a little bit more challenge release the hands so when inhale and exhale scoop your belly in inhale lift up straighten out your back flatten those shoulders and inhale and exhale good now this one see if you can stay back now once you're here automatically your shoulders are rounded your back is rounded I want you to square out your shoulders palms facing up 
let's lift right here hold as you're holding you're drawing that belly button into the spine we're going to alternately lift and extend one leg at a time so we're going to inhale right leg exhale left leg good keep going one at a time you're leaning back make sure you're not resting on that tailbone good four three two and one inhale come all the way up good give yourself a little break maybe round your spine and hug those knees in good let's come back up inhale bring those palms back out make sure your knees are not glued together keep them apart slightly and then this time we're gonna go all the way down so take an inhale at the top exhale scoop that belly in tuck your tailbone start rounding that spine going down now you can pause in between or just take your really slow descent all the way down where your head comes down last and your hands rest on either side of your hips walk your feet in towards your your bum good you should be feeling your whole shoulder blade back on your mat flat on your mat so let's take an inhale here and as you exhale I want you to crunch up now you lift your head up your neck your shoulders and then squeeze the top part of your belly now lift your arms up and hover over the floor take another inhale here and as you exhale lower yourself down and lower your hands down too we're gonna do five of these so let's do four more inhale and exhale peel yourself up so the best way to talk uh, focus here is look at the top of your knees that's where you want to be you're gonna squeeze that belly inhale again and exhale lower yourself down lower your hands down you got three more inhale exhale peel yourself up good inhale again exhale lower yourself down good one last time inhale exhale peel yourself up hold right here good now if you can stay here that's fantastic if you need to support your head go ahead and put your hands behind your head and lift one knee up at a time now if this kind of gets uh, too much tension on your neck put your head down you can also do this with your head down I prefer to activate through the upper part of your abs as well so we're gonna inhale here exhale tap your right toe down lift it up left toe down lift it up now I'm gonna put my hands behind my head just because I feel like my neck is starting to get a little sore so alternately tapping one toe at a time so because you have the band around your um, thighs your leg is gonna pull the supporting leg down but I want you to resist so inhale and exhale inhale and exhale keep going for four more excellent four and three and two and one now let's see if you can hold it here and straighten out your legs so we're gonna inhale here lift up a little bit more and then exhale lower yourself down good inhale again exhale lift up squeeze that belly inhale lower yourself down one more time inhale exhale lift it up now from here lower one leg down to as far as it can go inhale lift up exhale the other leg down and inhale lift up exhale lower alternating and lift up and exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift four and lift and three and lift and two and lift give me one more good we're gonna bend your knees rest your head grab your knees give yourself a little sway side to side this is just giving you a little break here good one leg at a time we're gonna place our feet down good if you need to adjust your band sometimes if you have the rubber band 
it rolls and you want to straighten it out. The only thing is there's nothing wrong with it, it's just uncomfortable. So we're going to keep your feet at a good distance from your glutes and just make sure that you're not uh, gluing your knees together. So keep them apart a little bit. Hands on either side of your hips. We're going to come into a nice glute bridge. So we're going to inhale at the bottom. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone, lift your lower back, your mid back, and your upper back. So you're resting on your shoulder blades. There's a nice straight line from your knees all the way to your shoulders. Squeeze your glutes. That's going to protect your lower back. We're going to hold right here just for a few seconds. And then slowly as you go down, so your upper back comes down first, mid back, lower back, and then slowly so release that tailbone. We're going to do two more like that, just nice and slow. Take a breath at the bottom. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone in, lift your lower back mid back upper back rest on the top of your shoulders remember your abs are working too so keep that strong core belly button in towards your spine and as you inhale and exhale lower yourself back down upper back mid back lower back and then release your tailbone at the end good let's do one more but this time we're going to hold it at the top so we're going to exhale peel yourself up squeeze your glutes that really protects the lower back holding it here now we remember we have the band here so we might as well work on your inner and outer thighs so we're gonna push your knees out pull it back in but do not touch push it out pull it in push it out keep your hips from going down you want to Squeeze your glutes and hold it there. You're going to give me three more push it out. And in, two, and in, last one. Good, hold it here and slowly lower your back down. So upper back, mid back, lower back, and then release that tailbone. Good, we got one more here. So maybe two, I don't know, let's see. We're gonna push into the heels and slowly peel yourself back up. Good, we're gonna hold it here, keep squeezing the glutes, abs are strong. So if you put your hand here, you should feel that it's nice and tight. And we're gonna alternate on lifting one knee up without lowering that back down. So we're gonna bring your right knee in, place it down, and then your left, place it down. Give me that right, place it down, give me that left, Place it down. Now, if you want to add a little bit to it, you can bring your knee up, extend your leg, bend your knee, place it down. Knee in, extend your leg, bend your knee, back down. Let's do a couple like that, just so we can even out and feel that through the quads and the glutes and the hamstrings. Good. Now, slowly take it back down. I'm going to do one more with this glute bridge sequence and then we're gonna move on. Good. Let's adjust yourself if you have to, take a little breather. And if after this glute exercise, you could take a little break, you could pause the video and grab a drink if you need to. But let's do this last one. So let's lift up, all the way up. Excellent. Now, only if this is possible for you, lift your heels up and lower them down. Good, lift them up and lower them down. So some people, if you have any issues with your, you know, with your feet, avoid it. Good, lift it up and lower down. And lift it up and lower down. Let's give me two more. Lift it up and lower down. Last one, lift up, hold. All right, this is gonna be a little bit challenging. Keep your heels off and we're gonna push your knees outwards for six and in, five and in, four and in, three and in, two more. Good, give me one more. Excellent, lower your heels down, lower your hips down. Beautiful work, let's bring your knees into your chest. Give it a little sway, side to side. Good. 
We're going to also make a little circle with your knee, so massaging that lower back. Maybe two or three circles in one direction. Whatever you need. If you need more, go ahead and then change directions. Beautiful. Excellent work. All right. Let's one leg at a time place your feet down. Good. We're going to go right into some roll-ups, and then we're going to finish off with some side leg work on your sides. So let's extend your legs. I'm going to keep the band there. There's no point in taking it off and putting it back on. So we're going to keep the band where it is. Place your feet flat on the ground. Just see how you feel with your toes. If you want to point your toes up or you flex your feet or whatever you want to do, go ahead and do that. Or you might want to just roll out your ankles to get a little stretch after the last exercise. That's up to you. So we're gonna take your hands, lift them up, reach over your head, inhale, and as you exhale, peel yourself up, one vertebrae at a time. Head, neck, shoulders, upper back, mid back, lower back. Come all the way into a seated position, point your toes away and reach for those toes. Inhaling, come back to the top. Exhale, scoop your belly in slowly rounding that spine, tucking that tailbone in, and lowering down a little bit at a time. Hands reach over your head again, wherever as far you can, as you can. Inhale again, and exhale, peel yourself up. Good. And let's reach for your toes as you exhale. Inhale, come back up to the top, and exhale, roll yourself down. Good, you're gonna give me one more. You're gonna give me an inhale and exhale. Peel yourself up. And reach for those toes. Come into a seated position, maybe bring your palms together, elbows out to the side, and then just go part way down. And we're gonna give me a twist. We're gonna go for your right side and center, left side, center. Right side, center, left side, center, right side, center, left side, center. Two more. Good. Last one. Good. Holding it here. And we're going to go all the way down. Staying here. Very slow. Beautiful. Head comes down. Release your hands to the side. And we're gonna roll over to one side. So let's just come to your, I'm gonna go to my right side, to your right side, sorry. This is my left side. Now, I want you to place your hand, your elbow directly underneath the shoulder. If you're feeling really slouchy, I want you to lift that lower, lower rib cage up and feel that engagement through that lower oblique as well. So your core is working, your hips are stacked one on top of each other, your knees one on top of each other, your ankles are one on top of each other. Now what I need you to do, if you don't feel comfortable with whatever I'm asking, you can put your feet back down. But otherwise, if you can, lift your feet up. All of a sudden, you're gonna engage through that upper oblique. Your lower oblique is already on fire. Keep your top hand down, and from here I want you to lift the top leg up only, and then lower back down. Now you're only gonna lift it so that your hips stay stacked one on top of each other. Try not to roll back and forth, so that's not a good idea. You won't get too much for the outer thigh. And we're gonna do five more here, five, and four. So you're gonna feel it right here, three, two, Give me one more. Good. Place your feet down and your knees down. Take a little breather. We're gonna do one more set here. Same thing. Ankles come off. Now lift your top knee up and press. It's like open the door, close the door. That's it. Lift and lower. I want you to feel that resistance right here. You're gonna give me five more. And four. And three, and 
two. Give me one last one. Good. Let's put your ankles down or your feet down and rest it out right here. Good. We're going to try here to extend. I'm going to put that band away. Extend your legs straight out. Now, from here, you might want to just make sure you align yourself again. So just engaging through that lower oblique. As you can see, the shoulder and elbow stay in the same position. Now, let's, let's take the band and put it around your mid calf again. And we're going to hold it here and lift up and up and up and up and up. Good. Three, two, and one. So you should feel it through, the, through your outer thighs and also the edge of your calf. Now, we're going to take your toe and point it to and touch it to the front. Lift it up. Take your heel. Tap it to the back. Lift it up. Point it to the front. Up. Heel to the back. Up. Toe in the front. Up. Heel in the back. Good. I'm not rolling my whole body over. Just going to do a couple like this. Good. Four. Three, two, and one. Good. Place your feet back down. Excellent work. We're going to go all the way down. So I have a problem with the shoulders. So I'm not going to go all the way down, but you can. We're going to go straight down. You're still stacked one on top of each other. Lift your feet off the floor. Separate your legs so you get resistance in your band. Now from here, we lift. We lift, we lift, good, exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, four, three, two, and one, hold it here, and slowly relax everything down, give yourself a little pat, maybe bring your knees to the front, and pat it all out, good, we're going to change sides, what we do on one side, we have to do on the other side, so roll it over, and bring that band back to the top of your, above your knees again. So the lower part of your thighs. Good. Find yourself in a nice position, elbow directly underneath the shoulder. So if your elbow is out here, you're going to feel a strain in your shoulder. So let's keep everything safe and just focus on working on those outer thighs, inner thighs. Now, make sure you're lifting up through the bottom rib cage. And we're going to lift your ankles up like we explained in the first one. We're going to just lift the top leg up. So lift it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Good. We're going to take a little breather, put everything all the way down. And we're going to do one more set right here. So lift your ankles up. Now, again, remember, this is optional. Lift your top knee up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And lower your ankles down and relax. Let's take the band around your calves or your above your ankles and come all the way into a straight legged position. Your hips are still stacked one on top of each other, knees on top of each other. You can keep your front hand right here. Lift the top leg up. Good. Inhale. And then as you exhale, we're going to lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it here. Now let's take your toe and we're going to point Tap it to the front, lift up, heel to the back. Trying to keep your hips stacked as much as you can. So one and two. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Place your feet down. Now we're going to go all the way down. 
and rest your head on your bicep. So you're still stacked your hips one on top of each other. Lift your legs up and part your legs so that you have resistance on that band. And from here, we're gonna lift and lift and lift and lift. Give me five and four and three and two. Give me one more and hold and place it down. So at this point, I'm gonna say, take your band out. Good. Now we're gonna work on your, on your back muscles. So we're gonna turn it over and go flat on your belly. So we're gonna go flat on your belly just to start. Take your hands, place them underneath your forehead and just rest your head. Now with your legs, I'm gonna say, just part them a little bit. So don't keep them glued together. Keep them apart. And we're gonna try to lift both legs up. So we're gonna lift it up, lift and lower. Squeeze your glutes, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So you, it's not important that they come up too high. It's more important that you're feeling it through the glutes, squeezing your glutes as you lift and inhale lower. Exhale, lift, inhale lower. Give me two more. And one more. Good. Now let's do the upper body. So we're gonna bring your hands on either side of your body. So you're gonna keep your forearms down and we're gonna lift your chest up and then lower it down. So this is for your top to mid back. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Two more, exhale, lift. Try not to look forward, just keep looking down at your mat. So keeping that neutral spine, so important during Pilates. Good, let's slide your hands underneath your shoulders. And now we're gonna peel yourself all the way up. Good, you're gonna drop back into a child's pose. So, drop your butt all the way back. That's gonna give you that nice stretch. And uh, you can reach your hands forward or bring your hands on either side of your hips and rest your forehead on the mat. You're gonna focus here on trying to drop your bum all the way down to touch your heels. Good. Take a few breaths here, in through your nose. And out through the mouth. Good, in through your nose. And out through the mouth. Good, when you're ready, bring your hands on, on your mat and come on all fours. So on your hands and knees. And we're gonna go into our bird dog. So we're gonna extend your left leg out, right arm, reach. See if you can hold here for four, three, two, and one. Place your hand down, place your knee down. Let's changing, change sides. Extend your right leg out and your left arm. And hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Place your hand down, place your knee down. We're gonna do one more time. Left leg, right arm, extend and hold. And we're gonna try to bring the elbow and knee to touch three times. So we're gonna go in and extend, and two, and extend. Last one, and extend. Good, place that hand down, place the knee down. Same thing on the other side, right leg, lift up, left arm. Bend your elbow, bend your knee, bring it in. One, extend, two, extend, three, extend, hold. Place the hand down, place the knee down. Perfect. Now, just before we get into our stretch, I want you to give me a full plank. So from your hands and your toes, hold it here. Lift your right leg up and bring that knee in between your two hands. So this is your pigeon. And I like to do the pigeon, it just stretches out uh, the whole uh, leg. So your glutes, your inner outer thighs, your quads, your hands. 
Lift your chest up if you can. Look into it and breathe. In through your nose. As you exhale, push that hip down a little bit closer to the floor. Good. Let's bring your forearms down if you can. And then as you lay here, sway your hips side to side. It's gonna release any tension if you've built it around your glutes, around your back. Good, let's hold it here. Stack your fists one on top of each other. Rest your forehead on it. Just give me a couple of breaths here. Just want you to relax. Hopefully you had a good class and you feel all those muscles activated through your core, through your glutes and your quads and hamstrings. Excellent, let's come back up on uh, both hands. Good, now if you can, you're gonna bend your back leg and with either hand, if you can grab it, grab that foot, get that quad stretch. Beautiful, breathe. Good, release that hand, both hands on either side. You're gonna step back into that plank so you can switch positions. Let's bring your left knee in or if you had your right, whichever one, just the other leg. So slide your back leg as far back as it can go. I like to come on my fingertips. You can stay on your hands if you want. Lift your chest up and press that hip down to the floor. Good, take a couple of breaths here in through your nose. But remember when you exhale, try to go a little deeper into that stretch. One more time, inhale and exhale come down on your forearms they're trying to make me laugh here um, i'm going to try to keep a straight face for the cool down now while you're here just sway your hips side to side release any tension good hopefully this helps if you want to do this for longer go ahead and we're going to stack your fist one on top of each other rest your head Good, inhale through the nose a couple of times and exhale through the mouth. One more time. Excellent. Bring your hands on either side of your knee again. Lift your chest up. Good, now we're gonna bend that back leg and if you can, grab that foot. My, I have a problem with this hand so I'm not gonna do the whole thing. <laughs> so you do what you can. All right, release that hand. We're gonna step back into that plank. And slowly walk your hands up towards your feet and come into a standing position. We're gonna roll yourself all the way up. Good. Let's roll the shoulders back. Excellent work. So I, I got a little sweat today. Hopefully you did too. Let's roll your shoulders forward. Good. We're going to take our hands all the way up. Inhale, palms together as you bring your hands to your heart center. Let's exhale and hold here. Lengthen through the neck. Close your eyes if you wish. And we're going to bow to ourselves first for working hard. Bow to the universe. Bow to your friends, whoever you wish, in gratitude. Namaste and have a great day. Thank you for joining me today and uh, fantastic work.